Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Information with Tabiso. Thursday, the 11th of August, 2022. The title of today's message is Listen to what you're singing. Listen to what you're singing. As you ponder upon that title, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Make sure that you hit that like and share button and share these messages with your loved ones make sure that you turn on the notification bell and also leave a comment in the comment section below let us go back to today's message the opening scripture is john chapter 4 verse 23 it reads as follows but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Pastor says, when people don't understand the scriptures, it shows in the songs they sing. Through the years, God's people have sung many unscriptural songs that affected their emotions, but hadn't any true and lasting spiritual impact. One of such songs in the hymn, Fill My Cup, Lord. Many sing it with delight, yet they fail to ask themselves what they really mean when they ask the Lord to fill their cup. With what, with what do they want him to fill it? Another line of the song says, Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. If you have, if you have Christ, you will never thirst again. Jesus said to the woman at the well, Whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. That is found in John chapter 4 verse 14. Those are the words of Jesus. So, how can you still be thirsty? Then they sing, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. How could that be? In John chapter 6 verse 35, Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. This is it crystal clear that if you have Jesus, you will never hunger and thirst again. People still sing such hymns because they don't know. Psalms 82 verse 5 says, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. Don't just sing a song because it sounds nice. Listen to the words. Be sure they are consistent with the previous, the provisions, sorry. Be sure they are consistent with the provisions of the gospel of Christ. The Lord Jesus is coming for a church without spot without wrinkle, without blemish, or any such thing. We see that in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 27. And he says we should be no more children, tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. We see that in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 14. But we should rather grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We see that in Second Peter 3, verse 18. So, when you sing in worship, let it be with knowledge or with the knowledge and understanding of the truth of God's word. Hallelujah. Let us take today's prayer. Please follow me as I take today's prayer. Say, Dear Father, I thank you for filling me with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding to know and worship you in spirit and in truth your word is the basis for my relationship with you therefore i'll be diligent to make sure my songs of praise are consistent with your word always for your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Further studies are found from Colossians chapter 1 verse 9, First Chronicles chapter 16 verse 8 to 12, 
Psalms chapter 66, verse 1 to verse 4 in the NIV version. If you're on the one-year Bible reading plan, we're reading um, Romans chapter 12, verse 17, and then chapter 13, verse 1 to 14, then Psalms chapter 89. If you're on the two-year Bible reading plan, we're reading Philippians chapter 1, verse 23 to 30, and then Isaiah chapter 62. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you enjoy your day. Share this information or this message with your loved ones and have a beautiful day. This is Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Aramwejana. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's meet tomorrow morning with tomorrow's message.